Venezuelan opposition leader Maria Corina Mercado, who is now in hiding after being threatened with arrest, has called for demonstrations in every city in Venezuela to denounce the disputed re-election of President Nicolas Maduro. This Saturday, August 3rd, we will gather as families with our children, grandchildren, grandparents in all cities of Venezuela at 10 a.m. In Caracas, on Las Mercedes Avenue, because we are going to pay tribute to each one of those heroes who upheld and defended the will of the Venezuelan people on July 28th and who are now being pursued by the regime. Mercado wrote in an opinion article in the Wall Street Journal that she is in hiding and fearing for her life. She emphasized that Edmundo Gonzalez was the rightful winner of the presidential election and also called on the international community to help Venezuela. Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro, on the other hand, has said that he is preparing two maximum security prisons for those detained during the demonstrations that erupted after his disputed re-election. I am preparing two prisons. Both prisons are to be ready in 15 days. They were already being restored. Tokoron and Tokuyito and all the Guarimberos are going to Tokoron and Tokuyito maximum security prisons. This has concerned relatives of people detained in Venezuela's post-election crisis. They wait outside a detention center in the capital, hoping to hear from their loved ones. Mr. President, it's not my fault to be here waiting for my grandson. I did not send him to do anything wrong. I don't condone his actions. You can burn me alive if you want, but release my grandson well and alive because he is the only one I have. Furthermore, Venezuela's Supreme Court has accepted President Maduro's request to audit election results. It has further ordered him, Edmundo Gonzalez and the eight other contestants who participated in the election to appear before the justices today. Well, minutes after the Supreme Court's announcement, Maduro appeared before a crowd from a balcony of the presidential palace and welcomed the announcement. On the other hand, the U.S. government has recognized the Venezuelan opposition contestant Gonzalez as the winner of the presidential election. It is discrediting the results announced by election authorities who declared President Maduro as the winner. Uh, we know that at least 12 million people peacefully went to the polls and exercised their right to vote and that the sum of more than the 80 percent of the tally sheets published by the Democratic opposition uh, and received directly from polling stations show that Edmundo Gonzalez uh, received an overwhelming majority of the votes in this election. Not only U.S. earlier, Brazil... Colombia and Mexico called for impartial verification of the results of the presidential elections in Venezuela. Brazil has taken over the administration of Argentina's diplomatic area in the capital in Venezuela, following the expulsion of Argentine diplomats by Venezuela's government. Six Venezuelan opposition figures are now taking refuge in the embassy. Brazil agreed to take care of Argentina's interests in Venezuela at the request of its neighbor. Argentina's diplomats were expelled by the government of President Maduro after Buenos Aires criticized his proclaimed re-election win. Meanwhile, Venezuelans living in Buenos Aires and Brasilia gathered to ask for peace in Venezuela as well as to demonstrate against the presidential election result. In Buenos Aires, people lit candles and sang songs during a vigil, spelling out the word there in the city.